Uh, with assistant manager David Brown after the second pre-season game, a 3-2 win away to Armthor. Um, but pre-season wins are nice, but it's more about performances and getting at players, Brownie. How do you think it's gone today? Um, similar to the other night, really. Um, two 45s, two different 11s. Played myself, it's, it's hard to get into just playing 45 because you know you're only going to be playing 45 minutes. So sometimes you do too much, maybe try and overcomplicate things because you know you've only got 45 minutes to show what you can do and start pre-season it's always like that isn't it like 21 22 people here today and it's hard but come 5th of august it'll be whittled down to 16 and i think me and the gaffer and wally Pewey and gaz will sit down for the next few days and it will start to whittle down to i think tuesday and friday we'll be looking at players playing an hour 75 minutes and obviously their minutes become few and far between for the other lads and as you can see i think there was a contrast in the two halves, like there was at um, Harbury on Tuesday. Uh, I think it was clear to see there's a clear contrast um, in tempo, I think. But when you look at it, some of the lads are catching up because they haven't been to all the sessions. And when you come to games, then you can see who's been to all the sessions, running the gonads off, really. Um, and I think that's starting to show. So it's hard being part-time you've got to do bits and bobs away from football as well but tonight again it's about getting the minutes in the tank coming away no injuries which we haven't got any injuries um, and players just getting back used to playing football I think in both halves you saw quite a few mistakes on the ball past pop poles going out of play going over the top too long too wide and just shaking that rustiness off really and uh, getting used to playing together. Obviously, we've seen Corey and Yanni now for two games, anchoring that midfield, and that looks a good partnership. And Alex and Sam up top, again, another partnership that's new. So they're centre midfielders, centre forwards that have not played together um, with each other, because obviously training has been a lot of running, a lot of hard work, and, and this is the first time that you've really seen them together. So it's working on things in training where they're on the same wavelength. and. I think the other night at Harbour we saw the right back TJ and uh, sorry, right back Josh and TJ linking up, and it's again tonight it was Des and TJ doing the overlap. So it's it's tuning it in. So no matter who plays in which position, they're comfortable of doing it. Um, so I think tonight we looked a bit tired. I think I don't know. It's it's a really hot night. It's a hot night. I think that's both teams. I think by the end of. Dead on the feet, even the ref was saying that he was struggling with how warm it was. So, listen, the lads will have a, a well earned weekend off because they were in four times last week and then two games this week. So, they've had six sessions in 14 days. So, at part time level, that's that's quite a lot. Um, so, they've earned a weekend off and then we go to work soft and tidy next week. And I think we'll look to up the minutes, um, trying to set standards this year where things won't be tolerated. Maybe we, we came in halfway through last season so it was kind of hard to implement things but this year uh, if things happen they'll be dealt with um, and we're trying to make it as professional as we can this year I think that's one thing that needs to be clear from the offset so uh, from, from the sidelines it's obvious as a good team spirit building already despite yeah. there being quite a new few new faces um, certainly like the fans I was stood with today a tricky player and a goal scorer always does excite excite them and Charlie Reaney looks like he's going to fit that bill from the, the two qualifiers we've seen. Definitely, I think over the summer one thing we we were always hard to beat last year, um, well some games we weren't, some games it was like walking straight through us but we want to become a bit more of a threat the other way, I think predictable might have been one word that the teams could have used against us, it was hit Alex and work off it and pick up scraps again coming halfway through a season when players are at clubs under contract it's hard to get them out and it's something the gaffer's never done and I've never really gone to a club I've known managers turn jobs down halfway through a season just because of that um, so one thing over the summer we really needed to look at was strike power and different options up top and um, that's not taking anything away from Alex I, I don't know a striker in our league will win as many headers as him but obviously you've seen Sam score tonight he looked a massive threat the other night um, so playing two up there I think is something we really want to do um, obviously you've seen the pace of TJ and then he, like you say Charlie he was a bright spark in the second half at um, Harbury um, played in that little hole tonight and I mean the goal's unbelievable tonight <laughs> when he's shaping up second I'm there going oh no don't hit it from there and it's it rocketed into the top corner and he's 
The thing I like about Charlie is he always tries to play forward. He might not come off all the time, but he'll get the ball again and he'll go forward, he'll go forward and he'll keep doing it. And that's that's what we want. We want not to just be one dimensional. We want to be able to attack from all areas rather than just pumping it into the box. And I think in both games we've scored well, six goals in two games, whereas last year we might have had to score one and hang on, really. Whereas this year I think we'll be more of a threat all over, really. Yeah, certainly for two games in, a couple of weeks in pre-season, as far as I'm concerned, we're in a really good place. It's looking good, so enjoy your put your feet for a few days and yeah. we'll see what works up on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, look forward to it. It'll be a tough tough game. Obviously they bumped away with it, but we went there last year and got a draw, so and I'd like to say that the squad's improved. Uh, but again it's pre season. They'll have probably improved themselves going up the league, so take it as it comes, get more minutes into the legs rather than probably forty five or look at players getting a good hour seven.